So in the past couple of videos, we've made a lot of progress. Well, I say a lot of progress because we just kind of put random stuff on the screen. And hopefully, just got a text message. Hopefully you can kind of got that. You can like, uh, you can customize this however you want to customize it. You can put your buttons down there. You can change colors. You can drag in like buttons. There's more buttons. Say you want to put a line of buttons. You can kind of play around with this. This is all really cool. But what about when you actually want to run it on a device? Because you're not always going to be on your computer. To develop it, sure, you're going to be on your Mac or Linux or PC building this. But we actually want to put it out on users' devices. So how do we do that? Well, a long time before you put it on the store, hopefully you'll run it on a physical device, like a phone, a Samsung Galaxy or a Pixel or a, a, a like there are tons of phones. You probably, I'm guessing you have at least one Android phone and you can, this, you can, so let, let's just, let's just back down a little bit. Let's go ahead and do something. So here's our app. So let's go ahead and up here and this button right here where it says, AVD manager, this is where all your devices are. So click on that and we'll create a virtual device. Now when you open up the screen, you probably won't see any of these options. You'll are any of these these uh any of these builds. What you what you'll see is this button down here, it says create virtual device. So click that. And here you see we can actually do stuff like create a TV or a phone or a watch or a tablet. So go ahead and select phone. And let's go ahead and select, how about a Pixel XL? Now if you don't see this exact thing, feel free to pick something else. There are lots of different options on here. You can pick a Pixel, Pixel 2, XL. I think they have a Nexus 5X. Yeah, that's a good phone. I used to have that. I used to have that. And right now I have a Pixel. So let's just go ahead and pick a Pixel XL, a Pixel 2 XL and go ahead and hit next. Now on this screen, you'll see a number of options, what you can select to put on that phone. So generally get the latest API level. So 28 right here, that's probably what you should get, but you can get 27, you can get Oreo, you can get Nougat, Lollipop, back to Lollipop, but yeah, I'd, I'd, get, I'd, I'd recommend getting the, latest, getting the latest build. Okay, now go ahead and hit next and name it something. You can type it my, you know, you can type it my, my um, virtual device number one. And then go ahead and actually I don't think you can do that. Oh, you can't put number signs in there. We'll just do one. And then you can click finish. But in this case, I actually already have one. So I'm going to hit cancel. Now, out of all of these devices, you, you can have tons of devices and I already have some here. So the one I've been playing around with is I think forget which one it is. It's, let me think, is it 20? I think it's this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just double click it. Actually, I'm just going to X out of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the green play icon and I'm going to press it. And it's going to bring up the select deployment target dialog box. And from here I can select a phone. So see here are all my phones. Um, on your screen, you'll probably just have the one that you just created in the previous step. So go ahead and just select it. And if you want, you can check the checkbox that says use same selection for future launches and hit OK. And then this may take a little bit of time. This could take a minute or two. And this is actually showing up on another screen. So I'm gonna in so I'm gonna wait here. Wait a couple of seconds. And this should be pulling it up. So here's the here's the uh, virtual device. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a real device, except that this is on your computer. It's kind of an emulator, similar to like the Xcode has stuff. So you can see it says launching, and this part may take a couple of minutes. So just sit back and relax. And here we are. So this doesn't look exactly like that, and I know why that is. But the important thing is you actually got it running on your phone. So let's go back to. That's, and this is a vir called a virtual device. So let's do something. Let's go back to here and I'm going to go ahead and just select something and hit the delete button. Hit something, hit the delete button. Select it, hit delete. Select it, hit delete. Select it, hit delete. And the last one, just select it and delete it. Now let's do something. Let's get a button and let's put it right in the middle of the screen. See where you have those lines? It kind of like hints you where you can put it. So I'm going to put my button there and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to run it again. And yes, use same device for future launches and hit OK and go back to the emulator. And the emulator should open this up in just a second. So let's just be patient and see. Depending upon how fast your computer is, it may take a couple of minutes. So here's our button. So cool. It's And it's not exactly like, see it on the screen over there, it's in the center. But up there, it's on the top left. We'll fix that in, a, in, in the next video. But the important thing is you got a virtual device set up. So remember, go up to there, hit create new virtual device. Just pick something, 
um, go to next, select uh, something, go to next, and hit finish. This is a virtual device. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.